Hi guys, so I'm gonna take you through something that I always said I would always avoid in lessons and everything else, but I just can't help it. I'm gonna to have to teach you this little bit, this little sneaky trick, which is figuring out the pH of a strong base. Now it is very sneaky, but it is accepted in OCR mark schemes, so here we go. Now, normally, if you wanted to figure out the pH of this strong base, you'd need to use the KW expression. So you'd need to know that KW equals H plus ion concentration, times the OH minus ion concentration, like so. You'd rearrange it to make H plus ions the subject, and so that would be KW divided by OH minus. And if we're working at 298 uh, Kelvin, then KW would be 1 times 10 to the power of minus 14, and the OH minus um, ion concentration here would be 0 0.3, and that gives you a H plus ion concentration value at this point, which is going to be 3.33 times 10 to the power of minus 14 and then you do minus log of that gives you 13.48 okay so technically it gives you 13.477 and then you can round it to 13.48 but well, there you go so that some people find to be a lot so they think that's quite difficult that it can be quite strenuous for this and it's a lot to remember so here's a shortcut p o h very similar to pH in that pH meant minus log of the H plus ion concentration. POH means minus log of the OH minus ion concentration. So you do minus log of 0.3 and it gives you a value of, and you get to this point, you think, well, that's not the right answer because that's 0.523. So that's not the same number as this down here. I've got the wrong thing. All you do at the end is 14 minus that and it gives you the correct answer, if you round it, just like I did before, of 13.48. So there's this whole other way to calculate it, and you'll find it in OCR mark schemes. They do say accept POH method to get to final answer. You may find that significantly quicker. You may find that in the exam, if it's NAOH, some of you have made mistakes before where you've done minus log of this number straight away. Well, I'm showing you a way to turn that into a correct answer. And look, it's exactly the same number, OCR mark schemes as well tend to say, look to see if the candidate has done the right thing on the final line, and if they have got the right number, award them all the marks. So that's worth bearing in mind as well. They're not going to mark this. Now, you run the risk of them not using all the error carried forward, perhaps here, if you do make a mistake, but if you are confident with it, you've now got this POH method. All right, so I'll leave you to the rest of the Acids and Bases A2 playlist, and until next time, happy revising.